Good morning. morning from Northern Ireland. Belfast area. Can I say top of the morning to you again? <laughs> beautiful. We've already seen like castles in the distance as we're floating in. Amazing. Yeah, we're heading out on a tour today with Odyssey Coach. So look at the exact name. Odyssey Coach Tours, mm -hmm. I think it is, to see the Giants Causeway. Now that's like an hour, hour and a half north-ish of yeah. Belfast, but it's like a natural geological thingamajig that I feel like is worth seeing. I want to see it, yeah. We'll see. So Giants Causeway, we get to go over to the town of Ballet Castle, and then they bring us back to Belfast to explore the Titanic Museum. Pretty good, yeah. We're oh. here a long day too, which is nice. Oh, true. Yeah, a lot of our ports have a Titanic connection, but I figure, I believe she was made in Belfast. Yeah. Um, but, you know, Cove has a connection, Southampton has a connection, a lot of places mm -hmm. do. So we'll do our titanic -ing here in Belfast. Where they built it, yeah. That's all I know. Breakfast. Ready for some breakfast, ready <laughs> yeah. for some fun. Let's go. A great voyage is a journey that never ends. Yeah, I think all the elevators are different. I concur. <laughs> ah, International Cafe. Very shallow for this, so we're currently running slow. We've got about one and a half meters of water underneath the, from the bottom of the ship. Breakfast has been acquired, so we're going to have a slightly delayed arrival because of some tidal issues. There's my iced Americano. You got your what? Vanilla bean, Vanilla bean latte. latte. Sugar. All right, but the tour company said in their email that they do adjust the times based on earliness or lateness. They did specifically say that, so we should be good. Yeah. I think they know that the tides play a huge part yeah. in Yeah. We saw the lines start moving, so we jumped in it. Right at 9.15. Nice, the gangway is right here on deck five. And with that, we are officially in Northern Ireland. So in through the cruise Belfast building. And I guess out through the go enjoy door. Oh, there's the line for what I believe is a pay shuttle bus. Oh, I see buses in the distance that say Odyssey. That's a good sign. Actually, they have uh, five. There's at least five buses over there. Wow. Well, one good thing about the email confirmation is it actually said that we are in bus five. And I can see they are numbered. Well, two, three, one, five, four. So there we go. Well, let's get checked in. On we go. We are all settled into the back row with all the leg room back here we could ever want. Ah, very nice. made a brief photo stop here at Dunluce Castle to admire it from afar. There it is across the way. So it's uh, ruins of a medieval castle. Part of it collapsed. I guess they have caves under it and the sea erosion got the better of it. And it collapsed and then was sort of abandoned after that. And they've got paths and things up to it. I mean, going up to it is not part of this tour. Hey, look, there's a little beach over there. We could, uh, Go swim if we wanted to. <laughs> I think after this we are heading on to the Giant's Causeway properly. There's like this wall. I'm just like admiring everything. Here's where they keep their deeds by Dunluce so Castle. Green. So green. Very green. All these green rolling hills we've been looking for. Giant's Causeway. He said you can go in the visitor center if you like. It's about 14 pounds to go in there. Totally optional. Not included. Restrooms up by the hotel and there's a tunnel that leads us down for about a 15-20 minute walk down to the Causeway. But they have bus service down there. Shuttle service also for a pound per person per way. Uh, there is the tunnel. There is the hotel. <laughs> So we were going to start with the bathrooms, but good gravy, that line. Let's go ahead and that jump down. That would have down. been an hour and a half wait, I think, <laughs> alone. <laughs> True. So into the tunnel we go. Ah, there's the shuttle bus, as they mentioned. So it's a walk down, a little bit of a sloped hike back up. Oh, we are going to be looking at some scenery today. Okay, it starts. This looks like Ireland. Yeah, we're getting all those Ireland views. 
We decided to get out of the city today and get some greenery and nature in our lives. Absolutely. <laughs> the Giant's Causeway. Oh, that's right, World Heritage Site. That was hard to read. I'm not sure if the camera eyeballs could make that out. <laughs> oh, this place rocks. Okay, too many rock jokes are gonna happen today. We've got some interesting formations happening right there. Okay, I see a large outcropping with a lot of people on it. That must be our destination. Oh man, just gotta pause and take in the scenery. That's pretty cool. So all these columns up here were, I guess, the result of volcanic activity. Now we are getting a little bit of that stagnant seawater smell as we round this corner, but I guess that's to be expected. <laughs> it smells a little bit like pluff mud. Tram. Well, now we've got the choice of a higher path or a lower path. Lower path looks good to me. So I guess here we'll start to see boulders and like little basalt chunks as we get closer to the actual basalt columns. That makes almost a natural little path for people to climb out there. Our guide did say be careful because they can be slippery. I mean, it's relatively dry today, but obviously be careful at all times. Let's try and get a picture with no people. D is going to use her magic eraser on her Google Pixel well, to try to try. <laughs> erase people. Wow. So all these naturally formed, or our guide told us the legend of the giant named Finn McCool who possibly built this causeway, but I'm going to go with volcanic activity. Folks are climbing all the way up to the top over there. I don't think I'm um, that ambitious. No. That's cool though. Good gracious. Ah, this seems to be the very hot photo op right there. Kind of looks like a chair. Lots of nice little places to sit overlooking the ocean. Let's see what other looky loos we can get. All kinds of little paths and natural staircases. Well, I guess that's a natural staircase. They might have made that staircase. I don't know. That's a little too perfect. I think they've crafted that staircase. <laughs> yeah. You can see all the craggy sides of the pillars down there. You know what? I'm starting to think this might have been built by a giant. <laughs> it's pretty Finn McCool to look at. Oh. Some up close basalt stone action. Oh, we got some people climbing where they're not supposed to climb. Whoops. Don't climb where you're not supposed to. Lesson learned. Ooh, there's even more cool stuff down here. All right. Well, I guess I've got some audio commentaries and stuff on this tour because there's like number seven. Ah, there's some climbing zones up on this side too. Now, I'm assuming you don't, you know, go climbing up there. <laughs> oh, look at some of this stuff in the distance. Yeah, big structures over there in the distance. There's people walking over there. Now that... That is commitment. That is dedication. Well, there's a bunch of structures out there on the point by the water and kind of also up on the cliffs. The more we look around, the more we see cool stuff. Dee's found a black and white bird with an orange beak that we're pretending, we're pretending it's a puffin. It's totally not, but guys, that's our, it's gonna be our puffin for today. Let's do one more bask of this gorgeous area. And then we're gonna determine if we're gonna hike back up or take the bus. I think for time's sake, we might hop on the bus. We'll see. We'll see. <sighs> I think that's the line. Yeah, the line, he said the lines <laughs> will get long-ish. Oh. Don't climb where you're not supposed to climb. Now granted, there's no signage, I guess. Anyway, we've joined the line for the Chatel. No drone zone. Ah, update to the update. Services are cash only on the shuttles. They accept pounds, they accept euros. That's about it. So we're gonna be getting some more steps into our lives today. I can't get no shuttle action. Well, that affords us the opportunity for a few more views. Oh, we're almost back to the top. I like that their sidewalk papers kind of look like the basalt columns. Back through the tunnel we go. Let's revisit these toileting lines up here at the hotel. <laughs> five minutes to spare. All right, back to the bus. Bus number five, all aboard. Oh, 
made a bonus scenic stop here overlooking a beach. So this is White Park Bay according to the Google. We were heading over to a big rope bridge to get a vista there and he said wait a minute let me pull in here and let's all look at this beach. That looks really appealing. I could dive right in there. I feel like I'm in the Caribbean right now. We've made it to the rope bridge viewpoint. Let's see what we can come out here and see. Looking this way, I see a bunch of sheep. It's tempting to just run over there and look at the sheep. But let's go see the thing we're supposed to be here to see first. <laughs> ah, there in the distance we see the new rope bridge. Because our guide said that fishermen built a rope bridge there and they used it for like 300 years all the way up until the 80s. Then it became a tourist attraction and they sort of rebuilt it, you know, made it safer, more sturdy, more tourist suited. There we go. I moved over to the official viewpoint now, so I got that blade of grass right out of the middle of my bridge. <laughs> yeah, but tour buses can't take you down there. There's like a height thingamajiggy. But I guess you can go and walk on that sucker. Well, not today. Oh my gosh, I turned around and here's D at the fence looking at sheep. How did I know? <laughs> oh, honk honk. Oh, I hear him down here. He's talking to me. They're so cute. Hello there, little friends. The weather's not too bad today. <laughs> you did not. Uh, They're so cute. I pet them. Well, only if you can jump over this barbed wire no, no, fence. No, no, no. They have to come say hi to me. Yeah, I probably wool didn't jump over this if I were you. <sighs> we're just ignoring all these puns. They're okay. <laughs> Let's wander back. This is about a 10 minute stop yeah. here, so. I have to get back to the bus on time. <laughs> Let's well, auto see if we can get back on board. Welcome to the town of Bally Castle, or technically a parking lot on the back side of the main strip of Bally Castle. He's put us back here because this is our lunch stop. We'll be here for like an hour and 15, hour and a half right at the back of O'Connor and that was kind of what I was thinking to do for lunch so that was convenient and my little research here is the main drag central bar and restaurant also came highly recommended pretty sure the whole bus is just going to come here because he spoke, spoke very highly of it oh, I'm digging the vibe already Oh, we've got a nice little two-top right here by the fireplace in case D gets cold. You never know. And, uh, let's just basket the decor. <laughs> yeah, actually, let's basket the menu. So I looked up the menu online. It is very seafood forward. That makes sense since we're, you know, right on the ocean. So we've started with some water and some ciders. I got a full pint of crisp looking cider. They got the half pint they gave it to her in a Heine glass because I don't know, I guess they didn't have any half pints of this bad boy. <laughs> the food, okay, wow. That's enough to feed an army. So Diddy has gone. Fish, chips, mushy peas, of course. And some salad and tartar sauce. Oh, wow. Okay. I got a dainty little seafood <laughs> chowder. Um, should come with bread, so I'll see if I can ask about the bread. But, um, ma'am, I have a feeling I'm going to be um, getting some of that before long. Oh, good. There we've got the wheat bread and the butter. Look at that thing over there. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll be eating that. <laughs> Well, that was fairly fantastic. It was really good. Let's it's get fast. back out here. Ah, how was your fish and chips experience? Really tasty. I forget how big the chips are. Like they're like very thick, so you don't need very many of them. And the fish was really good. Nice seasoning. It's a different kind of vinegar, though. Like, yeah, not, it was like, clear. Bold, like you're used to. Mm -hmm. good. Not as sharp. I do recommend this. <laughs> Let's explore. <laughs> so this road should be leading us down toward the waterfront. We're gonna have to have a word. Strictly no parking. No parking. What's up with that park? You're not even supposed to be parking over here. Gosh. Parks don't do anything. Hey, a park. 
Ah, we've settled over here at the park. Just chilling. Look at all this cool stuff we can play on. <laughs> well, we're back on the move again. We saw a little cafe over here called Time and Company. I think I got time for that. Oh, they've got seating inside. Nice. They had a whole array of lunch here. Oh, these desserts and pastries. No. <laughs> oh, they've got like this little Splenda thing where you push a button and okay, a tab comes out. Know. Good, we've, we've never used this before. As we're learning things. It's amazing. <laughs> maybe, maybe we're not learning things. We will learn things oh, we and then we'll enjoy these coffees. Wow, that's funny. So there we have a couple of freshly sweetened iced lattes. It works too. Whoa. Yeah, those are good. We need to buy those. Those are good for travel. I'm gonna find those. Well, I like that coffee place a latte. All right, let's wander. <laughs> Back past O'Connor's and down to the parking. Number five, alive. All aboard. So next, I think we are heading back to Belfast, probably about an hour ride and it's Titanic time. Welcome to the Titanic Museum. Got about an hour and 45 minutes here. <laughs> They're excited for it. Now, admission is included in this tour, so he said follow him in and he will hook us up with our tickets. Our launch, our fitting out, our main voyage, and of course the disaster. So we've got four floors, including nine exhibits. They did say there are no flash photography, no video allowed in the exhibit. So I guess we'll tell you about it later and we'll just take a lot of non-flash pictures. So here is the last of the video as we get ready to leave the ground floor and go to the exhibits. We'll see you in a while. into the world. So from what we learned inside, the area over here should be the actual shipyard where Titanic was built. So just over here, that is a ton of history right there. So we've got about eight minutes left until we load up and head back to the ship. We'll have to get into all of this experience here in a little while. Let's load up for the last time. Oh, 6 15 p.m. Here we are back at the port. There they have the face towels, 
water. A little chilly for a face towel. I was like, no, no. I'm it good. was warm today, but it has breezed and chilled up nicely. It's cold, yeah. I think we hit, gosh, low 70s today. I don't know. Beautiful weather. Unheard of. Yeah. <laughs> We got the gangway there going in a deck above where we're going in. I think uh, I think we're coming back in on five again. There's a paper on our bed. Good, Good evening. evening. It is fresh and clean time and actually we decided we're going to keep dinner casual tonight. Anyway, let's yeah. let's talk about it. Tell me all your words about Northern Ireland today. So my first impression is I did not know there was that many shades of green. Mm. <laughs> it's like everywhere. I've seen them all now I think. It's absolutely beautiful. Like where we went in that area, Giant's Causeway was awesome. Mm. It is a bit of a hike, so make sure you have like pounds or euros or something just Cash. in case the card reader is not working because yeah. it is uphill, so just something to be aware of. Try. But we got our steps in, so I was happy about that. Really lovely time there. And then to top it off, um, well, lunch was good in the town that we went to. True, you guys very saw cute. all that. But the Titanic Museum, we couldn't mm. really show you guys, and I'm sorry. Um, but one of the best museums I've ever been to, ever. And if you have any interest in the Titanic, and if you're on a cruise, you probably do because it has a lot to do with that, obviously. I highly recommend that you go check that out. Um, one of the things I like the most about it was out of tragedy become, you know, comes things that are necessary, sadly. But, um, you know, maritime rules as they are now is because of the Titanic. Um, you know, how you have to have to do a muster drill, and have enough lifeboats and things like that are super important. So I, I just found that very interesting. And then, I don't know, there's a ride. There's all sorts of stuff we couldn't show that you. Was but fun. I just recommend you go. Yeah. Yeah, and we've been to the museum in mm -hmm. Halifax, the Maritime Museum, where you learn about the Titanic and the Halifax explosion yes. and all that stuff. But yeah. excellent day overall. So Odyssey Coach Tours, Odyssey really Tours. Good. I'll put the link in the description. You know how it is. Timing was perfect. We had yeah. enough time to do everything, and we got back right when we were supposed to. So, yeah. How many sheep did you see today? Oh, my gosh. Oh. <laughs> you guys, there's so many. That's what I pictured when I said, like, Ireland, yeah. green and sheep. There we go. That's it. Perfect. <laughs> So now we've decided that there's a special presentation in the piazza at 8.15. So we don't have time probably for a full MDR dinner. That's okay. So I wash my head for nothing. We're going to take my head to the buffet. You're fine. See what's up. We haven't been to the buffet much. No. So we may as well take a peek at it. Yeah. And then have a little fun this evening. Hopefully be able so. to see it. Yes. Come on. It's a great game show. Oh, and marriage it's match it's game show is tonight. Well, I don't know that we'll make marriage match because um, the thing we're trying to watch is kind of at the same time as that. And it's always very crowded. True. Uh, welcome to Horizon Court. Wash hands? Yes, indeed. Well, look at all these sinks. What have we got going on? Oh, display only. That's my favorite. Oh, what the heck? Okay. Oh, Princess Destination India tonight. Y'all, we made the right decision. We got some stuff and some stuff. Hello. Oh, just look at it. This is where I'm going to be tonight. Woo. All right, we're going to start down here at the other end and just dig in and see what's going on. Well, we have dug into India. I don't even know what I got, but it is glorious. Thank you. Yeah, they bring water right to your table. That's awesome, too. Silverware on the table. Let's eat. <laughs> well, besides that whole Indian side, they do have the little grab and go room in the middle and a whole nother line full of non Indian food, of course. There's also this whole little section called the pastry shop. 
you will know you are in the right place when you see all the fancy um chocolate and sugar sculptures. Sugar-free coconut cake, fruit tart, cookies and brownies. There is a cherry pudding with cherry sauce or blueberry crumble and vanilla sauce. Lemon blueberry cake and grandma's chocolate cake. Oh, cherry pie. Oh, the gluten-free corner, they have an angel food cake, some jello and coconut pineapple cake. Oh, that's cool. So I ended up with cherry pie. I threw an oatmeal raisin cookie on the side. Blueberry lemon cake or whatever it was called. A chocolate chip cookie on the side. So we can share. Yeah. And we got a little after dinner coffee. Whoa, that was a lot of milk, but it had to be dramatic. I'm all fueled up on Indian food now. <laughs> Ready to go do something I would consider Scottish. Yeah. Maybe not. But I think what they're doing is before you go somewhere, oh. the day before to get you in the mood, like with Pete Best, and then we went to Liverpool. That makes sense. Le Liverpool. Liverpool. Yeah, we went there. <laughs> Pull the lever. That's my theory. All right. So now we will promenade forward on deck seven so that we can get to the piazza. Oh, music mm. trivia in the Princess Live. Oh my goodness. Spoilers. So we have planted ourselves here in the piazza. I'm right by the fountain, so hopefully the uh, water noise is not going to be nuts. But we got some live music coming, some special performances, and we might just hang out here for a while this evening. Y'all, this fountain loud. I don't know if they ever turn it off when the musicians come to play. But these seats are really good, so we might, we might just have to deal with this. So this is Sisters Duo. I assume they are sisters that are a duo. And the answer to do they turn off the fountain is no, they do not turn off the fountain. <laughs> We're going to transition into another very serene piece of music. Are you ready for it? I am. I did some research <laughs> and oh. bagpipes are really well known in Ireland and Northern Ireland too. So, not just Scotland. So I think he's probably from Northern Ireland. That's true. Spoiler alert, it's bagpipe music coming up next. I hadn't even said that. Oh, so sorry. Enjoy. <laughs> I can't hear you over the fountain. <laughs> I know. <laughs> we have some uh, Scottish cultural performance for you. I would like you to put your hands together for our black major is Tom Johnson. Sing along, everybody now. Uh oh, the captain's announcement has cut the microphone. One thing we've noticed about our captain is his announcements tend to be a little extended. 
think we've only got about five minutes left until this gentleman has to get off the ship. Yeah, he's looking at his watch right now. I mean, unless we're carrying him to Scotland tomorrow, I'm not sure. But this is going to put a damper in the rest of our performance, maybe. Unless he just busts out and starts playing over top of the captain. This is the part where the captain likes to tell us what heading and what speed we're going to be leaving from the port and what landmarks we might see along the way and the weather conditions and the sea conditions and lots of important things but lots lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of things <laughs> well i just heard him say that's it for me the show must go on he's still going on Oh, the band has already come down to set up and they should be playing soon, but I think we got time for another tune or two. There we go. He's playing the Outlander theme song. Nice. in the cabin time for bed time for love boat and sleep y'all yes um the main stage show i just want to point out was a singer that was doing a tribute to celine dion interesting now i thought it was ironic that we're in belfast mm -hmm. today and celine dion sings a song from the movie titanic we went to the titanic museum <laughs> called my heart will go on yeah i you don't know. think we can bring ourselves to go in there in case she sings that that's like pretty sad <laughs> you know she's gonna she's gonna sing it Anyway, but we are turning in, yeah. ready for another exciting day. We got one more port day before we hit a sea day. Can Ooh, you believe how it's many? It's been intense. <sighs> it but has, we're ready for it's it. It's been just like camping. <laughs> intense. Okay. Yes. Uh, so we don't really have to talk about dinner. Mm -hmm. um, we went to just listen to a bunch of music, including a piper. Yeah, that was cool. He is from Scotland. He's Scottish. That was verified. Last name is Johnson, which I kind of thought was an English name. But Don Johnson. No, it's uh, Tom Johnson. Tom Johnson. He was really good. I felt bad because the, the captain came and <laughs> took up some of his time, but he was awesome. Yeah. And uh, we got to listen to the Sisters Duo, which everyone's mm. been telling us to listen to, yep. and they are fantastic. And then the band, I cannot I don't remember their name. name. We'll look it up at some point. Probably not. All the music's been really good, and it was nice to just kind of have something different to do tonight. No, it's bedtime. Yep. So, love boat. Night-night. See, See you tomorrow. tomorrow. <laughs> good night. Good night. <laughs>